Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So in this video, um, I'm going to share my completed pages for June 2022. So I think I did 10 pages um, and considering it was a really busy month, I think that's quite good. Um, but I did start colouring some of these pages um, at the back end of May. So I did have a little bit of a head start. Um, otherwise, I don't think I would have got 10 done. But anyway, let's put Kitty out the way and let's get started. So, um, first of all, I've got Rita Berman's um, Walk Through Europe. So this was a buddy colour with the lovely Imogen from Colouring Kid. <coughs> now, I will put um, Imogen's uh, um, completed page at the end of this video if I receive it in time um, for editing and uploading of this video otherwise you can hop over to her channel and check out her beautiful completed pages so this is the page that we both decided upon and so it's this um, sort of three strip scene view and um, yeah I think it's turned out okay I'm not overly impressed with it but um, yeah I mean it took ages to do to do this sky the you know this pencil sky here at the at the um, on this bottom picture and of course I have the metallic paint over it um, I hope you can make the shine out for it um, but yeah it was it was really fun to do um, I um, I enjoyed doing it and I've got some black um sakura jelly roll glaze on these little detaily bits in you know between each picture and um yeah i think it's okay um because i did this quite early on you can see that i finished it on the first of june because i've got a little bit of a date here at the bottom of the page um i can barely remember what i used but um i think i used some graphite tint pencils uh, for the houses because I've made them look quite dark in places without with, with some metallic roof but yeah it's um, it's all right I mean I'm not overly pleased with it um, but I can imagine Imogen's page will be absolutely stunningly gorgeous um, hopefully, hopefully she'll have got it finished in time but if not um, that's not a problem you can have a look at when it is finished so yeah that's my page. So that's in Rita Berman's Walk Through Europe. And then the next one was just a fun page in this um, art therapy colouring book. I don't know how to say that, um, so I won't. Um, but the one I did, this is my first page in this book, it's this one here. So I used a gel crayon background. I think I used the King Art gel crayons. For this background i really like the colors i've used the deep blues and the purples and then um some i think it was some either the art spirits uh silver paint or it possibly could be the renaissance colors um liquid chrome but i cannot remember um and then some more glittery paint on these i don't know supposed clouds i think um and then these lines here, that's with some iridescent blue acrylic paint, I think from uh, KJ Designs by Karen. But yeah, I I, like, I think I used, um, I could be mistaken, but that's possibly, I don't know actually, is it watercolour? No, I don't think it is. I think that is still pencil, but I cannot remember. One of these days I'm going to get into the habit of writing my supplies down on a post-it note and then just putting it here so that I know. I really should do that, I know, but um, yeah, it's just an extra job that I don't think is that important at the time. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy with that. I think it looks quite nice. Um, the simple page some really nice pages actually in this book um, there's some really nice autumn type scenes that I'm hoping to get done in September October time so um, 
let me see if I can find one I won't be able to find one out like this yeah these two absolutely gorgeous um, scenes I hope to get done um, even this one here that would be really nice for autumn so yeah I hope to colour in this book soon um, next one is Houses 2 by Gabby Wolf so this is what this was my um, second buddy colour I think um, and this was with um, the lovely Zoe from Addicted to Colouring so Zoe if you're watching hello um, and yeah we actually did the sky sorry the background the same we did it as cloudy skies so we must have been thinking the same thing there but yeah hers is absolutely stunning I love it um, I like mine as well I think it's quite nice um, I like the metallic accents which obviously I'm going to put in because I love metallic paint but um, I like the way I've done the clouds as well and I love the bees um, I like the glitter I've used on the water it's just such a fun page um, this was instantly my most favourite page in the entire book so I asked Zoe if we could actually um, do this one and she agreed so thanks a lot Zoe for doing this uh, buddy colour um, and also Imogen for the previous buddy colour in Rita Berman's book thanks for doing that hope we do some more soon um, yeah I like it um, uh, some lovely pages in this book really nice pages um, I think you get one of each page so there's no duplicates but yeah so I really want to find a new house <laughs> but it's not happening at the moment so therefore I make do with colouring houses some stunning houses in this in this book but yeah so yeah that's that one so that's Houses 2 by Gabby Wolf and then next one is a completed page in Nature Mandalas now this is one of my favourites that I've done in here for this month it's probably the only tagged page as well oh no, there was another tagged page actually so um, this was the page um, I've been wanting to do this for a while and um, I'm so glad I got to it and I used, you know, the... Um, Helen Elliston's colour special effects book for the honeycombs um, I sort of um, used that same technique years ago um, for another page in Rita Berman's book for the honeycomb and since then I've always this is my go-to colour combination for the honeycomb so I also used a bit of metallic paint because why not of course I'm going to use that for the honeycomb um, I used, um, I can't remember, some sort of blue pearl paint for the wings on the bees and then a glitter paint on top, uh, glitter watercolour I think um, and I think I used pencil for this background as well for the, the yellowy orange bit and um, it took ages to do this but it was so fun to actually do just bring you in a little bit more so you can um, see a bit closer but yeah it's um, it was really fun to do I really like colouring bees I really like colouring honeycomb um, and so my colouring bag for July is going to be a lot of bees to colour I think so yeah this is probably I would say one of my favourite ones if not the favourite one um, for this month um, definitely pleased with that the most so that's Nature Mandalas illustrated by Mel Pamini Chatsipani G2 and then the next one so this was a book give, um, sent to me sorry by um, Rachel Mintz, so thank you Rachel Mintz for sending this book to me um, I have got a flip through of this book on my channel if you are interested and um, this is the page that I did um, it is grayscale I think it is anyway, yeah it is grayscale um, and yeah I did this one so I've used some metallic paint on it um, and yeah I just I think I used Gosh, I can't even remember. I'm going to have to start writing things down, aren't I? Because um, I forget a lot. 
but I think I use pencil and pastel um, or chalk pastel if not pan pastel um, there was something I used for the tree but I just cannot remember for the life of me what it was but it wasn't pencil something else but I'm not sure um, what it was but it's a lovely little book this with some really cute houses in it so yeah that's that one so that's the cutest houses by Rachel Mintz grayscale colouring book and then I did one in RJ Hampson's Dragon Dreams um, so the one I did was, um, was inspired by Wendy from Wendy's Happily Handmade Delights I think um, her channel on YouTube so she did um, a gorgeous one I think in orangey red colours so I wanted to go for my favourite colours um, which are purple blue um, purple blue lilac you know that sort of colour so I'm really pleased with how this one's come out actually um, um, yeah I've got some glittery type thing in the back I think there's pan pastel underneath it but some acrylic glitter fine acrylic glitter on top I think it might have been glamour dust actually that I used over it to give it to give it a little bit of a faint um, shimmer as you can see hopefully on the camera and then I wanted a limited colour palette um, and yeah so I went with turquoise blues and blues and purples and then of course my metallic paints had to come out because they do for most pictures um, and I'm really pleased with how it's come out I this is another one of my favourites for this month um, I put some with the scales, I think I used the Spectrum Now metallic paint marker to just bring the scales out a bit. But it's a stunning page. It's called Spring. Um, yeah, and then I think there's some chalk pastel here on the back ground around here. So just for it makes it look complete. So yeah. Um, cannot remember what pencils but possibly Derwent Light Fast because I'm using those pencils a lot. They are now my favourite pencils as well I think. They were up there with the Holbeins but I think they've just overtaken the Holbeins. I do like, I still really love the Holbeins but um, I prefer the Light Fast. I think the Light Fast are stunning pencils. So yeah, that's uh, that. Dragon Dreams. Next one, A Million Sweet Things by Lulu Mayo and um, yeah I did a fun one in here and it was this one. So it was the vegetable bowl and I put some loose glitter here on the bowl. There's some glaze pen on the bowl and then I also put some confetti because I haven't been, um, haven't used my confetti for ages so I used the quickie glue to attach them. I think I've got pan pastel there on the background just like a um, sort of a rainbowish of colours and yeah I really like it it's just so cute the pictures are so cute um, uh, what else yes did put confetti on it metallic paint as usual pencils again uh, probably Derwent Light Fast a bit of Arteza possibly um, Possibly Prismacolor as well, the Derwent Chromaflor, um, maybe even the Derwent um, Color Soft. I've been using a lot of Derwent pencils recently, so it's been quite, quite nice. And that's it. That's that one. A million sweet things. And then I have Matchstick Mouse. So I basically completed this page. Um, on camera I think I did the background first did I do the background yeah no I actually I know what I did I actually I remember for once I used the neocolor ones the metallic ones and the normal palette ones the normal color ones and um, that was my first part of the video and then the second part I think I did the background and sort of finished the page off so yeah I've put some glossy accents on the eye so I'm sure you can pick that up. And I did this jazzy sort of a background with the gel crayon, just because. Why not? Just 
think it looks um, all right. Just a quick, simple page, isn't it? So um, some sort of acrylic uh, glitter. I think it was silver bling, actually. I think it was called um, Glamour Dust Silver Bling. Yeah, a bit of metallic paint on the end of the matchstick there. So that's it. That's that one, Matchstick Mouse Summer. And then nearly there now fairy touch of magic one book to start well i've got 10 books to start and i've only done this one so far so not going massively great considering it's july so this is the page i did um i quite like it i think it's quite it's okay i mean i used my um albert jura watercolor pencils I use metallic paint of course that's the new fine tech this paint on here this gorgeous orangey red sort of color more orangey I guess it's it's amazing it's from fine tech color palette and it's probably one of my favorites um, well my favorite color in that palette um, and then I've got from that palette as well the gold one of the yellowy gold I used for sort of bringing out some detail on the sand um, I used some um, opal paints as well opal pearlescent paint on the on the clamshell is it um, and yeah glossy accents for the eyes of course black sakura not glossy accents sorry the sakura glaze pen black um, and I've got some glossy accents on these jellyfish just on the top bits of it um, and did coloured them with some pastel pencils I think with my new Brute Funa Macrons that I just recently purchased um, yeah so I mean I also put some lovely opal pearlescent on the shell of the snail I really like how the snail shell has come out so I pencil coloured underneath and then put the pearlescent paint on top and I think that gives a really nice um, effect uh, yeah so I hope you like that um, I do I mean I wasn't too sure at the beginning I thought it was coming out awful but then usually it comes together in the end so yeah that was a that was one that I got done and then I did one PDF so just bear with me while I get it now this PDF took absolute forever so I did it on grey uh, tanned paper um, grey toned paper I think and um, it's I got this off Etsy it's um, a lady artist called Fern Brown I think um, it says www.browncottagebooks.com Fern Brown so if you type Fern Brown into Etsy you'll see all her wonderful work come up but I just this was just like something that I just really wanted to colour. So it's a little rabbit house, isn't it? A little rabbit home with the different rooms showing. And I don't know what it is, but I'm really into colouring like uh, rooms and houses and things in houses and stuff like that. So this was perfect. So yeah, I used lots of different pencils. Now the pencils on this paper that worked really well, you know, on the toned, grey toned paper was the Posca pencils they worked really well and showed up really nice and bright the Derwent Chroma Floor worked really well um, Luminance worked really well as well and Colorsoft did Derwent Colorsoft so I used all those pencils I remember that because there's only certain pencils which work really well on which show up quite bright on the, this paper and then I used of course metallic paint just on the um, edges of the illustration but yeah this took a long long time to do um, but you know what in the end it was worth it and I love detail pages if you follow my channel you will know that so yeah those are all my pages um, for June I hope you enjoyed this video until next time take care happy colouring bye